All right, I'm doing it again. I'm going to sit here and watch another video about motorcycles and maybe some fights with people on motorcycles as well. That could be fun, right? So yeah, let's do it. All right, first clip of the day from Bulky Riding. Come on, man, what the? Well, was that close? Was that too close? Yeah, GoPros sometimes make things look further than they actually are. But yeah, I get pretty annoyed at this kind of stuff too. There is this particular intersection that I ride through almost on a daily basis where it's super common for people, for whatever reason, to turn really, really tight to the point where they're borderline clipping you when they make the turn. So yeah, if Bulky Riding felt that this was pretty close, I get why he's annoyed. It is annoying. But yeah, let's continue on. Let's see what happens. Will all hell break loose? We'll find out. Oh no, he turned around. There's a shadow, which means there's an angry human. Finger? He didn't flip him off, did he? Wait, hold up. No, he never did. He just kind of went like, what are you doing, man? Yeah, it was just this. I mean, dude might be angry over nothing. Are they neighbors? That could be pretty awkward. We've seen that before on this channel. I mean, in all fairness, English might not be his first language. He might not know saying, I smish face now is a threat, but yeah, it, it kind of is. You're going on YouTube, bruv, you carry the song. I don't care. You do care, because you might lose your job, your family's gonna hate you, it's not recommended. But did you put a thing on me or no? Yes I or did, no? no, I did not, brother. I did, did not. not. No. 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 We didn't. Yeah, I think this dude just wants blood. I mean, our guy, Bulky Riding, is handling it very, very well. Him explaining to this guy the consequences of smishing face is really making this guy take a second to think about what exactly he's doing and how this might affect his life if he has one. Be out there in the wild, man. You never know what you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a guy, for all we know, that has absolutely nothing to lose, and those are the most dangerous kind of people. That's why sometimes not confronting every idiot on the road is sometimes a smart thing. Just keep riding. They, they can't catch you. So yeah, I am curious, though, to how this is gonna end. We've kind of already checkmated this guy in verbal combat, so let's see if he resorts to physical violence. Alright, say hello to the YouTube channel. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> that ended, for all intents and purposes, very, very well. Alright, up next, Atas or Atassi. I remember struggling with this name last video. Let's see if this is the same video that I reacted to. It might be. Car, swerve. Different video. Feels like the same location, but different video. Yeah, nice brakes, dude. A nice swerve. That was that was close. So let's take a gander again. See, no blinkers. Turning left. Almost hit that guy. Goes back into his lane. No blinkers. Almost hits us. And he's trying to do the same thing again. I mean, he's probably just some old, demented fellow. Yeah, not everyone out there is looking for blood. Intentionally, at least. That's no reason to let your guard down because these people will hit you, albeit not chase you down like some road rage animal, but they might accidentally swipe you by accident. So yeah, you just gotta be careful out there, you know? Like a Tass, a Tass, see, however you say his name. He did a good job, good riding. Okay, up next, Obrati. Kind of a busy area. Okay, we're going down this road. Doesn't look as busy, but still, you never know. I already see a car, co yep, that was the car. And we also know that this takes place in Russia. Yeah, good reflexes, man. I mean, he gets on the brakes there. And then he swerves. Perfect combination. I hit the mic again. Said it before and I'll say it again. That brake and swerve combo saves a lot of people out there. Just slow down a little. Use those brakes to give yourself a few milliseconds of extra time to plan your epic dodge. And then swerve to make it happen. I love it. Obradi has the reflexes of a cat. Love to see it. No broken legs or kneecaps here, man. All right, up next, Eduardo Garza. Again, another busy area. Why are you trying to do donuts in the middle of the road, lady? But sick helmet, though. I like that air flight. So yeah, if you couldn't tell my sarcasm, clearly she wasn't trying to do donuts. She got caught in that little gutter thing. But yeah, this kind of stuff happens, you know? And she's all good. Bike's all good. I mean, I see those little crash bars protecting the lower end, and then the handlebars covering the top, so there's probably no damage at all to the bike, honestly. If she had to let the bike down, that was probably the best way to do it. And it wasn't on the exhaust side, you know? Because sometimes crash bars don't really cover the exhaust, and the exhaust will kind of clip the floor damaging it. It's always sad. Yeah, she dropped it on the other side. It worked out. All right, up next, Ryder Martin out here in the mud, out here in the trenches. A few moments later. What happened? Hello. Oh, that's what happened. The sheriff's office. Uh -huh. Reason for a stop is I couldn't see your license plate. You've got it mounted weird, so... Mm -hmm. You got your yep. driver's license with you? Uh, yeah, let me see if I got it. Yeah, guys, mount your plates right. It'll just save you time, you know? I mean, I see this happen so many times where guys will just kind of stuff the plates under their tail, but like in a way where no one would ever see it. Which, I mean, it's fine doing that if you plan on running from the cops, you know, every time you get stopped. That's fine, then. Not legally and not health-wise, probably good for you, but if that's your purpose, it makes sense to do that or just not have a plate at all. But if you are a law-abiding citizen like I am, obviously, just fix your plate. I don't know what's so hard about that. Okay, let's see how we're going to 
the play of this, right? Because you can always play it the route where you don't want to give the cop anything. Don't comply. Or you can comply. But some people will think you're a little baby, a little beta. Are you the registered owner of this plate? Uh, my dad is. Your dad is? Mm -hmm. We're respectful okay, enough so far. Alright, if we are good to go, check nice. out. You have a motorcycle endorsement already, so you're good. Nice. We've just been having issues with their bikes going up and down these roads. And mm -hmm. what if I didn't see a plate? Yeah, that's you know, totally understandable. But you've got it. Yeah, that wasn't us. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right, nice. We were respectful. We got away with just a warning, I guess. Good job. Up next, Sacromaniac CC on a Jixxer 650. We're going pretty fast. I just got a feeling. What the this guy? Are you doing? Yep. Dude, okay. Brakes are insane and our balance is immaculate. Pull over. Pull over. Okay, let's see if we got a Pull runner over. now. This might end in a chase. Or not end with a chase. It'll end with Bro, like I a got... fight or crashing. Bro, I got so lucky. Yeah, you did, bro. You really did. I thought he was just going to wipe out completely. Because that's usually what happens in these videos. I braked as hard as I could without sliding out. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was a little slidage, I think. He just didn't jump ship. Yeah, he skid a little bit. He just didn't give up, I guess. You know, because sometimes I guess there is a point where you just kind of let go and just throw yourself off. Because you think there's no way you're saving it at that point. But this guy, he stuck with it somehow. That's pretty crazy. What was that about, man? What was that about? You're in the middle lane. Oh my god. You'll be alright, sport. I hate that. I think it's also triggering because this was the same exact scenario for my first crash. Thankfully, I wasn't on a bike. It was in my dad's van, but this was the same exact scenario. I was in the left lane. I wasn't going fast. Dude in the middle lane, lady actually in the middle lane with her truck wanted to make a left-hand turn, so she kind of just went in front of me. <laughs> I turned with her, thankfully, so we kind of like hit each other going the same direction, so the damage wasn't that bad at all. But still, it did suck. I think I might have already talked about this on the channel. One of my childhood friends was in the car. My baby brothers were in the car. There was like equipment in the car. So yeah, it could have ended a lot worse than it actually did, but it was all right. I handled it with communication and dialogue because it was a woman and she was pretty scared about the whole thing. So yeah, and then I got my money. So yeah, I don't know if that's what this guy's going to try to do here. He might try to go through the insurance companies, but I mean, that's always a pain in the neck. He might want to get money for his fairings from this guy up front. So let's see if we can persuade him with our level 100 speech. Let's see what happens. I have it on camera. I know what I was doing. I was in the left lane going straight and yeah. you were in the right lane. Which is straight only. You yep. can't turn left in the middle lane. Like, yep. you see how there's three lanes right here? You were in the middle lane, and I was in the left lane. Well, thankfully, I, I braked really hard, but, uh... I'm sorry. You did. I mean, we... Oh, it just scared the shit But he had to, almost, honestly. I almost totaled the bike. It was, it was like, whoo! I'm sorry. So, I'm just very... I got, I have goosebumps. See, my arms? We didn't do it on purpose. Okay, sympathy. We didn't do it on purpose. And just came from UC Davis and we just, and we usually take the straight line. I understand. Way over there. Yeah, we're Thank fine. goodness yeah, that it's the good. lady that's talking and right we, now and, and not this dude. Calming we're the happening. situation slowly. Yeah, I hear you. We didn't, I didn't even see. I was with him in the front, but I didn't even see. I hear you. I was just giving him directions. Okay, I don't know why they're making fun of that. I believe that. You know, I don't think it was on purpose, like they tried to murder him. I can't believe that's all that happened. Yeah, I can't either. That's insane. That was a crazy save. Man, God is good. Okay. The I mean, money, the I money, let's get to the money, bro. I mean, for both of us, it's just going to put mm -hmm. points on insurance and stuff, you know what okay. I mean? Okay. Um, so, how do you want to do it? I don't know. I mean, the only thing is the fairings are, are $400. Just the plastics. Yeah? I mean, really, um... I would have said more, but... I don't know. Let me let me see how much it is. I mean, if you're if you're willing to, to pay for it for, for replacement... I don't see nothing no there. That I out. can buff that out. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be nice. Yeah, I'll take it. That's why I would have asked for more. It was, I knew they were going to like Thank go you, for bro. less, so. Hey, you're a good man. Thank you, bro. We, we were trying and we just because of I totally get it. And, and some construction assignments. I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm... I don't think that these people realize just how, like, if you were to put 100 bikers in that same exact scenario, 
there would be a decent chunk either dead or just crashing really, really hard. The fact that there is not an ambulance here being called is like a miracle in and of itself. Because when cars peel out like that in front of you with no blinkers, I don't think I saw blinkers, and you're going at speed. I mean, I will say that's the one mistake I think that this guy did is I think he was going a little too fast through that area. Even I was starting to feel weird about it. I was just kind of waiting for something bad to happen, you know, which obviously that doesn't excuse these guys, but in the multiverse and the other dimensions, there was a few bikers who met their end or some of their bones met their end in this scenario. So thank goodness that did not happen. Trying to get off of 50 yeah. and the it splits. Ooh. Ah. I need to go home. You gotta go home, bro. <laughs> thank you. Final destination, man. Death is looking. All right, I mean, again, that ended all right. Both the crash and the interaction afterwards. I mean, I would say that was probably best case scenario, honestly, for both. Thank goodness that this lady was here because if it was just us and this guy, it would not have ended well, I think. Sometimes it all works out. All right, up next, Solden 247. Don't throw a roundabout. That's always fun. Nothing bad ever happens in those. Uh, yep. Close one, dude. Close one, man. You almost ruined your ninja. At least I think he was riding a ninja. Yeah, again, people just, they don't know what they're doing. That's really what it comes down to. Pretend that you're invisible and pretend that everyone around you doesn't know what they're doing. And you will probably be a lot more aware and more careful and will probably survive. So yeah, that is my advice. Pretend everyone's brain dead and blind. Up next, Mickey Mac on a KTM RC390. And we are going through the twisties into another lane. Okay, we almost got yammy nooped there. Yeah, stay in your lane, man. I'm especially around a blind corner. It's like, what are you doing? That car nearly took out our guy here in the red hoodie. Look at that, just barely, barely saved that. Had to do a little dodge dance for that one. Good news though, is that all things considered, I think this crash isn't enough to really hurt us. I think our guy here is good. Oh, we got another angle. Oh, he did get clipped. Did that hit his leg? That is a very expensive hospital bill or not. Might have clipped it. I don't know. It definitely got his exhaust. He's walking. Yeah, it didn't clip him. Wow. So as far as going Dan Dan mode on this clip, it's just super easy. Don't go into the other lane, especially if you're going fast around a blind corner, which in this case, this mountain, you can't see anything past it. So you don't know if there's a truck coming, if there's another bike coming. It's just, you don't know. So it's like, why would you bleed into that lane? He didn't get hit though, so we didn't do a yammy noob. Doing a yammy noob is like the worst case scenario for how this could have went on, so. Stay in your lane, and Mickey Mac, if you're watching, don't do it again. Up next, Motor Maroons, with a rear cam too. I need to get me one of those. There's some crazy stuff that happens everywhere around you, and it's cool to be able to film that. What are we doing? <laughs> this dude's like sharing his caring, man, move over. Try to kick you out into oncoming traffic. We didn't see how that ended. I mean, there might have been a little little fighting after that, but yeah. Hopefully my words will inspire some of you to make smarter choices and therefore live a little bit longer because that would be cool. And also, I'm not a genius on any of this stuff. A lot of what I say is just, I feel common sense. It's just, I think people sometimes lose that when they get lost in the adrenaline, you know, which I may be guilty of sometimes too, but it's still good to remind yourself, like watching these clips, just remind yourself of like some of the basic principles, like not bleeding into another lane around a blind turn near a mountain or try to hit the 200 mile per hour club in a residential neighborhood, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. Uh, check out my other videos. There's, there's a few now at this point and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.